hi guys welcome to another tutorial my name is agnes today i'm going to be showing you how i made this textured cardigan it's quite easy beginner friendly the stitch may look intimidating because it has this you know great texture and looks kind of complicated but it's really really easy it's a repeat of one row from side to side we'll work in uh, three panels and yeah, it's quite easy. So we are going to go straight into the tutorial. Uh, this is what you're going to need. Uh, for this tutorial, I used scissors, a 5.0 millimeter hook. I used a 5.0 millimeter hook. You will need a needle though. Uh, you need also a tape measure. And uh, this is to take your shoulder to shoulder measurements. Mine is 15. Then we will add one to make it 16. But I will give you the measurements. Um, for the yarn, you are going to use any medium weight yarn that you have. If you want something, you know, uh, heavier, use a chunky yarn. But this is what I use. I used about 11 of these and each is 133 meters. Okay. So... Uh, this is how we're going to work this uh, cardigan we'll start with the back panel uh, which is uh, shoulder to shoulder measurements plus one inch if you want it a bit bigger not that this fitting like mine looks then you can add a few more inches then we'll go ahead and do the front panels once we are done with the front panels which are identical then we will go ahead and do the sleeves then once you're done with the sleeves, we just join everything, everything together. And once we've joined everything together, then we'll do the ribbing. And yeah, we'll be done with our cardigan. So these are the measurements you will need. So you'll need uh, shoulder to shoulder measurements, how it is here. Uh, the neckline between the two front panels is five inches. And then you will make the calculation to do the front panels, which are very identical. Just get your shoulder shoulder measurements, your back panel measurements, subtract uh, five. So now we do the foundation chain for our back panel. So I'm going to make a foundation chain long enough as uh, 16 inches. So from my chart, you can see it's your shoulder to shoulder measurements plus one inch if you want it fitting so if you want a more baggy one then add a few a few more inches and your chain should be a multiple of uh, chain should be a multiple of three plus two chains all right so i'm done with my chain and uh, this should be 16 inches i did uh, 57 uh, chains plus two which makes it 59 okay so multiple of three plus two chains okay so now we're going to start on our first row which is a single crochet row so you're going to skip one chain skip the first chain go into your second chain and make a single crochet like this so go into your second chain make a single crochet third chain make a single crochet and our pattern for row one is going to be one single crochet in every stitch until you get to the end of your chain okay so mine i did uh, 57 chains plus 259 chains and i'm going to do single crochets all the way to the other side all right so my row of single crochets is done this is how it looks okay and now we are going to start on our pattern and you are going to chain one and then chain two okay then you're going to turn your work so you see this chain counts as a stitch so you're going to yarn over in this very first stitch make a double crochet so that's my second one go in again and that's my third double crochet so for the first stitch we for the first stitch we have three double crochets okay so you're going to skip two stitches and go into the third stitch and make a single crochet single crochet right but in that very same stitch right you're going to yarn over and make two double crochets so that's one yarn over insert your hook and make your second double crochet in that very same stitch so you have one single crochet and two 
double crochets then you're going to skip the next two stitches and into the third stitch you're going to make a single crochet then make two double crochets so it's one single crochet two double crochets in the same stitch and that's my second one okay so now you're going to skip two stitches and into the third chain stitch sorry make a single crochet so your first stitch will always be a single crochet and then your next two stitches will be double crochets so this is how it looks i told you the pattern is simple so just repeat this so skip two stitches and make a single crochet in the third stitch and go ahead and make two double crochets in that very same stitch then skip two into the third stitch make a single crochet go into the very same stitch and make two double crochets it's a simple pattern like this so do that until you get to the end and i will meet you to show you how you finish off the row you will have three stitches left right and i will show you how to finish this off okay see you at the end of the row yeah i'm done this is how it looks so far so i have three stitches remaining all right so this is how you will always end the row okay so into your third stitch you skip two and into the third third one sorry you are going to make a single crochet like that so you start with three double crochets and end the row with one single crochet so we started with three double crochets right here chain chain two is a, a stitch so you're going to go to row three by chaining two which counts as a stitch and in that very first stitch we are going to make a double crochet going to the same stitch make a double crochet so now we have three double crochets okay so we are going to skip the first two stitches and into our third stitch which was you know our single crochet in the previous row you are going to make a single crochet and then you that very same stitch you're going to go ahead and make two double crochets so it's a repeat of that pattern then you're going to skip two and into your third stitch make a single crochet and then make two double crochets in that very same stitch yeah so repeat the same thing it's so this is going to be basically our pattern you're going to be repeating this same pattern skip two stitches into the third stitch make a single crochet in that very same stitch make two double crochets okay so i'll see at the end of the row just to show you one more time how to uh, finish this row off i'm at the end of the row uh, so this is how it looks and i have three stitches left so like i mentioned before or is end with a single crochet so we're going to go on top of that chain two and make a single crochet to end the row okay so now for the next row you're going to chain two turn your work and the chain space is our first double crochet so you're going to go ahead and make two more double crochets in that very first stitch so we have our three double crochets and then repeat the pattern so skip two make a single crochet in the third stitch then in that very same stitch go ahead and make two double crochets then skip two stitches in the third stitch make a single crochet then go ahead and make two double crochets in that very same stitch and repeat the pattern simple as that begin the row with three double crochets end the row with a single crochet on top of the chain two begin the row with three double crochets in the row with a single crochet on top of the chain two and repeat that until you have the height of your cardigan that you want yeah mine i did 21 inches this is before the ribbing so keep that in mind and i'll meet you once you have your back panel 
ready okay so remember to always end the row with a single crochet right here turn your work and repeat yeah i'll see you once you have your rows i will do a total number of 50 rows okay so this is what i have i did my 50 rows and uh, it's 21 inches long okay so once you have this we are going to go ahead and do the front panels which are it's an identical um, pattern it's just two front panels only that uh, for the front panels i did you you will take your um, back panel measurements and then subtract five inches five inches will be where we have this our neckline so in between the two panels we'll have five inches so whatever you have left then divide by two so i took 16 minus 5 is 11 11 divided by 2 so each panel will be 5.5 inches so i'll chain 5.5 inches as beginning of uh, my foundation chain and then make two identical panels it's the same stitch so repeat single crochet row and then the row of the three double crochets skip two single crochet double crochet just like we did with the back panel the only difference is the measurements as you can see so i'll do it just the same but my foundation chain will be 5.5 inches to do two of the panels all right so once you have the same height as you know i had same 50 inches then uh this is how it should look like do two of these identical just the measurements so there's five inches in between the panels and we are now going to put them together to the back panel so arrange them like this and identify where you want your you know your your wrong side to be your wrong side is where you know you'll wear your cardigan from the inside i think that's how it explains it so align them together like this and we are just going to join them um you can either join using a single crochet a slip stitch or a yarn needle okay so i'm going to use a yarn needle for this just make sure they align together and we'll join at the top from here to the other side and also at the top for this side uh, just like this so we are joining the front part and the back part i have my yarn already in my needle so i'll just go into the very first uh, stitch somewhere here and also the first stitch on the back side and just you know join it together i'm going to make a knot here so that it is tight and yeah so i'm just going to go through the each stitch both from the front panel and the back panel like this on the other side too and just pull then going to the next stitch like this both the front panel and back panel and pull and yeah so you can decide to use a single crochet for this if you're using your hook and yeah so i'm just going to join this up to the end uh, where it ends you know where the front panel ends and once i'm done then go to the other side also join the other side of the front panel to the back and yeah i'll meet you once i have both my panels joined at the shoulder part this is at the top okay so just do this until you have both of them joined and we'll do the sleeves then then i'll come give you the sleeves uh, measurements because it's also a similar thing so yeah join this together and i'll meet you once you are done this is how it looks at the, at the right side okay see you 
all right so i'm done and uh, these are the measurements you're going to do for the sleeves for the sleeves i just did the foundation of chain of 12 inches and for the rest of your sizes which is size extra small so for the rest of the sizes these are the measurements all right so i have my sleeves ready you should have yours ready now uh, if you did the measurements that i just gave you and uh, we are just going to join them together so i did um from here to here it was 12 inches so in the middle just divided it in the middle and put stitch markers because i need to know where the middle part is okay and uh, the length of my sleeve is 17 inches okay so get put a stitch marker in the middle of your sleeve so that we are able to join it to the other part that we already joined that's the front panel and the back panels and align it together like this so you see where my middle part is where i have my slip my stitch marker and this middle part where we join the two panels that's where we will join the stitch marker so the middle part of our sleeve should be aligning with where we joined our stitch markers and you're going to go ahead and join from here this point to the middle part and to the other point join the sleeves together so like this so i have my sleeve joined i used my needle you can use your hook and i'm just going to go ahead and fold it like this so we have our five parts joined the the front panels the back panel the sleeves just fold it like this and we are still going to work on from the uh, wrong side and join the rest of the cardigan so align it together like this you know it looks like this and we are going to join from down here go along like this and then to the sleeve part and join the sleeve together like that or you can just start from here the sleeve part go along the sleeve and then down the cardigan so join it and uh, you're also going to join the other side same way from down here top and then the sides so once we have everything together i will see you so yes we have a cardigan almost ready now we just have to do the final touches and we are going to start with the bottom ribbing so we'll do the bottom reading ribbing once we are done then we do the sides like this here you know go around along the neck side and then the bottom so now let's do the bottom first okay and then we can do this the rest of this other part and once we're done then we'll go ahead and do the sleeves okay so from the bottom ri ribbing we are going to be working in the right side so you're working on the right side and we're going to start from one corner to the other corner so um, one side to the other side so you're going to reattach your yarn and for this first row of the ribbing we are going to use double crochet so you're going to reattach your yarn and then chain three chains two and three and in that very first uh, stitch or chain you are going to make a double crochet and you're going to go into the next chain or stitch and make a double crochet go into the next chain make a double crochet so this is where the, the part where we had our foundation chain so you're working into chains so go into every chain with a double crochet make a double crochet in every chain along this uh, bottom just like this so do that until you get to the other side just along the bottom and i'll see you once you're done all right so we are done with our very first row and the row of double crochets 
and our next row we are going to be working front post and back post so you're going to chain three I use this stitch a lot in like every cardigan every sweat I make I at least use front and back post so you're going to yarn over and go you see this very fast double crochet here you're going to go under it like this and make a double crochet so that's a front post so the next one is a back post come from the back go over it with your hook like that to make a back post next is you're going to make a front post so go under it like that and make a front post back post go from the back over it with your hook like that and make a back post so you are just going to repeat this pattern front post back post front post back post until you're done with this row in case i'm too quick you can always you know go backwards and and to understand better or for a stitch like this you know you can just search anywhere on youtube how to make a front post and back post and there are slower you know videos that just explain this one stitch okay so where i'm too quick in the video you can just pause go backwards and you know to understand better so do this i'll meet you once you're done with this row okay so i'm done with the row i'm coming to the end and uh, yeah so the last stitch on top of the chain you are going to make a double crochet on top of the chain three just make a double crochet like this okay so for our third row you're going to chain three turn your work and uh, repeat the same pattern where you have a front post you will work a front post where you have a back post you work a back post so here is our front post and we are going to go ahead and put our hook under it to make a front post like this and the next one was a back post so we'll go from the back and put a hook over it like this to make a back post so the next one is going to be a front post so we'll put a hook under it like this to make a front post and then we'll work a back post next and you are going to repeat this pattern until you get to the end of this row i just uh, yeah did three rows you can make more rows but i'll see you once you're at the end of this row all right so i'm at the end of this row in case you just wanted this short i'm just going to make uh, my last stitch as a double crochet so now i'm going to work chain uh, three and work on uh, this front side the front ribbing so right in this double crochet i'm going to go ahead and make a double crochet so at the top of the double crochet i'll make another double crochet so into the next stitch i'll make two double crochets so it's two double crochets in every stitch for here this is where our ribbing is okay the part where we have our ribbing so i'm choosing to put in the middle of the stitch and at the top of the stitch so i had three uh, i had three rows so i should have a total number of six stitches for where i had my ribbing okay and it's going to be the same for this uh, part where i have the pattern it's going to be two double crochets in every row okay it's going to be two double crochets in every row you can just put choose to put them in one place or you know where you see space like in every chain this is uh, the part where we had our chain uh, where we're chaining two so i'll just go ahead and put a double crochet in every chain like this just to make it easier so where i see a chain i make a double crochet okay 
okay so it's a double crochet in every chain you are going to go along doing that uh, once you get to the neckline put a double crochet in every stitch and then go downwards so then repeat the same pattern make front post and back post front post and back post and i did a total number of three rows all along this like this to the bottom come back up until you have a total number of three rows just like the bottom and i'll meet you once you have your ribbing ready all right so i have my three rows on the front ribbing and this is how it looks like the bottom looks like this and yeah so you should have something like this we are about to finish so let's do the sleeves i already did one and i'm going to show you how i did this so it's the same pattern i really love working with this front post and back post as you know it's easy it's easy it's an easy ribbing okay so we work the sleeve the sleeve is a is going to be a bit different so you're going to just reattach your yarn i did on the side where we you know we had the line going down so we are going to work in round so you're going to chain three and in this very first chain okay this very first chain that you see i'm going to make a single uh, a double crochet sorry okay so i'm going to go into the next chain and make a double crochet so into the next stitch i will skip that one right and go right into the one after that make a double crochet okay so skip one and make a double crochet And going to the next one and make a double crochet so this next one right next and we'll make a double crochet and then skip the next uh, stitch or chain so the pattern is going to be two double crochets then skip one uh, stitch two double crochets skip one stitch two double crochets skip one stitch so that's one and that's my second double crochet so now i skip one stitch and go into the next stitch and make a double crochet that's one and going to the next stitch make my second double crochet and then skip one stitch so this is just to you know because our sleeve is not small to fit the wrist so we're just trying to make reductions in that it can fit around our wrist area okay so it is two double crochets skip one stitch two double crochets skip one stitch that pattern so that's two then skip two double crochets so repeat this until you're at the end of the row and i'll meet you to show you how we join this okay all right so um where we started and uh this is how it looks it's a row of uh, double crochets it looks smaller than what we had at the beginning and now we are going to join so on top of the chain three on top of that very first double crochet just make a slip stitch like this okay so we join this together and now we're going to work a row of front post and back post so you're going to chain three into that very first double crochet you're going to go under it with a front post and then you're going to make a back post so you're going to go from the back like this and make a back post so there's no more decreasing so next is a front post and a back post front post and back post so you are going to repeat this pattern of front post back post front post back post until you get to the end of the row so i'm at the end of the row and i'm going to close this off with a slip stitch on top of the first uh, stitch then i'm going to chain three and where i had a front post i'll go ahead and make a front post then where i had a back post i'll make a back post so it's just going to be that kind of repeat 
this is a back post and next is going to be a front post and basically you're going to repeat this until you have enough number of rows i did a total number of five rows for my wrist area you can do five you can do more you can do less it's according to what you prefer okay do five rows and i will meet you all right so i have my five rows and uh, to close this off we are going to use a slip stitch so i'm going to go into my very first stitch with a slip stitch going to the next stitch with a slip stitch into the next stitch and make a slip stitch and we are going to work one slip stitch in every row to close this sleeve off so work slip stitches in every row and once you're done with this row of slip stitch just you know cut off your yarn and do the other sleeve you know once you get to that here make a slip stitch cut off your yarn do the other sleeve and i'll meet you once you have both all right so i'm done with my sleeve this is how it looks i hope you have your two sleeves ready our cardigan is ready go ahead and sew in your ends it should look something like this i hope you like it it's fitting it's nice the texture is really nice um yeah i'll be doing more cardigans with texture so stay tuned <laughs> i'll see you in the next video thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe like comment share yeah see you in the next tutorial bye